Right, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians, the Kabi Kabi, Gabi Gabi people, painting of Lyndon Davis, ancestors past and present, as this land we're sitting on tonight and having ceremony in this room. This is my mother and my father. My father is Scottish and Swedish, my mother Aboriginal. And this is my mother's family with my great-great-great-grandmother, my great-great-grandmother, and my great-grandmother with my grandmother in her arms. <laughs> this is me at 15 years old, locked in a juvenile institution. Uh, for me, violence was a way of life. Anger, and I sunk my life into substance abuse, anger, violence, hatred, a lot of things that got me into that place. This was what got me out of there, was an introduction to a paintbrush. For my life, it turned around from that point onwards. It became a catalyst to express my story and the story of others, to bring peace to myself and others. Aboriginal people hold the highest rate of incarceration in the entire world, the, enti the, the highest rate of suicide in the entire world, and the lowest life expectancy. You think of this, this is the people that make up 2% of the population. When you think of Aboriginal people, do you think of a backward race of cannibals that were rolling around in the dirt, waiting to be saved from their backward ways? Or do you think of a beautiful race of people who were so connected to their family, their culture, their community, to this land, that sustainable love was their practice? The mentality that came here 238 years ago didn't see the latter, it saw the former. It saw them as a race of animals, that they were to be murdered, to be raped, to be beaten, to be killed, to be imprisoned. Imagine if somebody came into your home tonight and took this and did this to you, took away your children, made you wear your clothes, stopped you from speaking your language, stopped you from living your ways, and then Today they said things like, why don't they get a job and be like the rest of us? What's wrong with them? Imagine if they said this to the, to the victims of the Holocaust or the diggers. There'd be an outrage or uproar. But why is this? Is it because they have a little bit more melanin in their skin? Or is it because they spoke different words or had different culture? I can't read the slides, so I've just got to go on. So this one here, this is an image of an old man and a young one. This shows that sustainability from generation to generation. If you think of 2,000 generations here, they had no hospitals, they had no jails, they had no suicide, they had no tooth decay. They had none of these things that we have today. And yet they were seen as a very backward race. Their connection to country was something that was so valuable and important that it was beyond. You know, most people say, well, they didn't invent a wheel, they didn't invent a car, they didn't invent roads, they didn't invent houses. But how does that make them backwards? How does that make them less than human beings? In this society today, we're led to believe that having a million dollars creates sustainable happiness. But how is that? Are we truly happy if we have that million dollars, or we have that job, or if we have those titles and deeds behind our names, and all this stuff? Our connection to Mother Nature is not only of Aboriginal people, but it is something that is for all of us. Um, Aboriginal people have never claimed their own land, but we all belong to it. And as custodians, we walk together. Whatever we do to the land, we do to ourselves. This goes hand in hand. Um, I believe we really, there's a time and there's a calling for us to walk together as custodians, where we're living and learning from one another. This economic driven society needs to be, I feel, balanced with a society of sustainability emotionally, mentally, physically and spiritually, where we walk together in true equality, living as one people, walking together. This is a sunset out at Noosa. When a sunset happens here, it's not only Kabi Kabi or Gabi Gabi people who see it, or just Aboriginal people, it's all of us who see it and experience and have that relationship. So there is a responsibility as custodians to look after it, not only for the next generation, for the next 2,000 generations. And it's as easy as that. Children see it so easy that we can walk together. It doesn't mean that one needs to take away from the other. But does that mean that my colour skin has a little bit more melanin in it than others that mean that I'm less than? This image here of two young girls together so simply speaks volumes of how effortless it really is. But Aboriginal people are still living under this 
system that they are less than. So I would love to see that equality and I'd love to, for all of us to see the truth in walking together as one people and one mock. Thank you very much. <laughs>